So, next tasks. Um, air box is down, fits solid, sits solid, that's back on. Um, wiring's done now. Um, we can go, once the radio's out of the way, we can go lock to lock. Lock to lock on that. So, I've got to torque up all these bolts that when I took the wheel off, got the second cover on. It looks a bit loose actually. Um, yeah, so second cover's on. Don't know how they're going to work out. Obviously, with the compression and everything of the forks, you might just knacker them up and look like shit. So, that's in the experimental stage. Um, what else we got? Obviously the radiator and the oil cooler have got to go back into place and I've got to get the RNG guards on those. I can put the tank down now because hopefully everything underneath there is done. That's screwed on. The pipes are back on, clips are in place. Let's just double check this side. Uh, sensors on, pipes are on. Pipe at the back there, the breather. That's back on. So we're all in. There's the, there's the loom there, look. Runs inside now, rather than along this edge here, which obviously neatens the bike up. Um, whether it melts or not in there is yet to see hopefully it doesn't but as all that's back together i can finally put the tank back down and it's starting to look starting to look like a motorbike again handlebars are at the wrong angle they're still I was going to say they're loose enough to move, but uh, they are, but you need two hands. Well, you don't. I do. Um, look at the state of the tank. Oh, I'm so disgusting. So that's getting a expansion tank for the radiator needs to be gone. Um, and it's... I knew it was over full. Yeah, so anyway, that's got to be taken off, a new one put on. So first of all, I'm just going to torque up all the um, brake caliper bolts and the pinch bolts that side. I didn't actually undo the pinch bolts this side. I'll give them a check, but uh, those are the bits that need doing. And then I'll get on with relocating the radiator back into position. And then I need to paint the frame. Hide all manner of uh, all manner of terrors. And that's about it. Then I can get it in for its MOT. So let's get on with talking those up. Double check in the Bible first, obviously. I think the calipers are 39, pinch bolts are 24, axle bolts are 100, something like that. Anyway, I'll have a look. Right, so the pinch bolts are actually are 23 newtons, newton meters. Bit at a time. And I'll put copper slip on the threads. 
should be good. Yeah. So that's 23. And then the actual mounting bolts, caliper mounting bolts, are 25. I thought they were about 39 for some reason. Right, so. Again, getting somewhere close. These have, these have had a bit of copper slip as well. There you go, 25, which feels like nothing. Let's just double check that. Clamp bolts, 23. Front, front brake caliper mounting bolts, 25 newton meters. So there you go, 25 it is. So that's all them done. I did the axle the other day, which is actually 100 newton meters. That's done. And as I said, I didn't undo these pinch bolts because all I wanted was the wheel off. So pulled the axle and dropped the wheel out. So that's that done. Now I can concentrate on putting the radiator back into place. Okay, so because of the wiring now, the main loom going through underneath, the rad is, what's that, half inch shy of being in its rightful place. So I'm going to make up some brackets and drop it there. I could force it into place, but being that this is a very old, very thin aluminium, um, and they're expensive radiators, I don't want to fuck it up. So instead of forcing it up onto the wiring, Or do I want to redo that? Do I want to redo that? No, I don't. No, I don't. So I'm going to make up two brackets to drop the radiator down just that half inch. Um, looks wise, it makes no odds whatsoever. I mean, it's the difference between it being there or there. So yeah half inch neither in or there unless you're only half inch long and then it's twice as much but there's room for maneuver and you always find when you're doing something something else crops its head so i'm gonna i've got some stainless steel brackets there i'm gonna shape them to size and fit those and hang the radiator off of those instead so let's get on with that. I really need to tidy up. <laughs> but not at the moment. I really need the Dremel out. Dremel. Right, so Dremels are out. Ready for action. I'm just gonna cut these returns off because I don't need them, I just need the flat bracket. So they're coming off, hopefully. And then I need to elongate the slots. I can't remember how much I've got to elongate it by. Right, so first of all, I'm going to open up the bottom hole so it will accommodate a bolt. He says there it is. So it doesn't. Oh! <laughs> it's a slippery little sucker. Yeah, so it doesn't need much, just needs a thread width. Right, so, bolt fits through there nicely. So that can go through to the rads. I don't need such a big, or do I? Big washer. That'd be on the back. So no, I don't need a big washer that side. 
it doesn't come off. So we'll go that way. <laughs> oh, it's all in the planning. You're nuts. Fold away under nuts, which are. <laughs> since, I'm, since I've tidied this up, I can't find the bloody thing. There you go. Right. Right, so. That is small washer. We'll do that. Nylock nut to hold it all in place because I want it falling off. And then I think I want to come up roughly the size of the bolt. Roughly get rid of that, I suppose. Just marking it with a black pen. That'd be roughly. Right, if I get rid of the black, we should be all right. Roughly get rid of that, I suppose. Just marking it with a black pen. That'd be roughly. Right, if I get rid of the black, we should be all right. So, that into the rad. Rad, dude. Right, so let's try this. Right, give this a go. Through the red and then through the bracket. Now, wash up. You just ain't gonna notice that. Right, cool. I'll get the other one done. Get the other one done before I let's try whole sentences. I'm losing the whole sentence plot again. <laughs> My mind is elsewhere. Right, yes, get the other bracket done for the other side before I tighten all the bolts up. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh, that is beautiful. Not too hot to handle either. Right, again, just put a black blob. Black blob of the height of the bolt, a little bit more. A 
Yeah. So I've cut the black out. It will be the right height or length. Nice. Right. What do I want? That's the wrong bolt. Or is it? No, it's the wrong bolt. That's the right bolt. Obviously, that's the right bolt. Because it's on the floor. That's where you keep them. Oh, where do we put them? There we go. Nice. And that and a small washer. That and a small washer on there. And then a small bolt the other side. about it. And I will put a small spring washer on that as well. So that and that and that and that. Tools are, he does a full circle, that's a 12, that's not it. Okay, well, come on, where have you left the tools? I didn't have any tools. I haven't taken the bracket. Right, pan you back. Right, so second bracket. Right, what are you looking at? Can you see that? Not really. There you go. Right, again, I'm going to put the bracket in the, in the bike first and then offer the radiator up to it. There you go, that's the radiator pretty much fixed. I'll push it back in a bit more before I actually do it up. Um, yeah, so I'll tighten them up and place the oil cooler as well. So, because of the bracketry up the top, um, this would go up a bit more and then the oil cooler would pivot up into it and connect and because the geometry is a little bit out now because obviously I've added that bracket at the top what I'm having to do is put in on here on the oil cooler bracket let's see if I can zoom, I can zoom you in you can just see it there I've put in a spacer, so it's a, a bolt with a spacer. It's still rubber mounted at the front here. It's just, again, cause the, let's have a look. There's the, there's the spacer. And as I say, it's just because the, the geometry is now out with putting those brackets up the top. It will pull up a bit more, but not enough. Sorry, just putting some copper slip on the bolt. Not enough to get the up and swing back for the oil cooler. So I'm just adding these spacers so it's not pulling extremely tightly. Made it sound so easy. Yeah, 
I did make that sound easy, didn't I? See, probably made that sound easy. Let's unscrew the other side a bit. That's it. Give me a bit more play. It all just seems a little bit out of kilter for some reason. Alright, eight mil. Blimey, that'll do then. So that's the oil cooler on. Three bolts. Rad's on. Three bolts. Well, five actually. <laughs> now I've done the modification. Bloody hell, I'm good at this fabrication malarkey. Is it fabrication or putting right my mistakes? We'll go with fabrication. <laughs> feels good if anything it's kept the the oil cooler a bit further away from the headers so it's an even better cooling experience <laughs> oh justification well there's some more time in the shed well spent till next time ride safe